Hello everyone, I'm Jensen. A Toledo police officer and a 27-year-old man have died after they were shot yesterday in a standoff in central Toledo. Now, 24-year-old officer Brandon Stalker was working perimeter security on the scene on Fulton Street when officers tried to approach Christopher Harris, a suspect in the arson and vandalism of the Rosary Cathedral earlier that day. But how did it get to that point? I'm going to walk you through a timeline of the events that led up to Monday's shooting, as well as tangible ways you can help Officer Stalker's family. At around 2.30 in the morning yesterday, officers responded to the Rosary Cathedral after receiving reports of a fire. They saw no flames when they arrived, but after an investigation, firefighters found that the entry doors to the church had been damaged by a flash fire that had extinguished itself. There was no further fire damage made to the church, but the phrase, Jesus is Black, was spray painted on the walls. Police later confirmed that the suspect in this case was indeed Harris and that a warrant was issued for his arrest. At around 4 p.m., members of the gang task force found Harris outside of a home on Fulton Street. When officers approached, Harris went around the corner, brandished a firearm, and then fled inside the house. Police immediately set up a perimeter, which was Stalker's assignment, and called both negotiators and the SWAT team. They negotiated for two hours with no luck. The SWAT team then fired tear gas into the house, which forced Harris out, who brought with him two firearms, and he started to shoot. One of those bullets struck Officer Stalker in the head. Multiple officers then fired back at Harris, hitting him as well. Both men were taken to the hospital where they later died. Stalker joined the Toledo Police Department in July 2018 and was actually classmates with Officer Anthony Dia, who was killed in the line of duty on July 4th, 2020. He leaves behind a fiance and two children, a seven-year-old daughter and a three-month-old son. But already there are ways that you can help the family. There's a GoFundMe page organized by the same person who set up the one for Officer Anthony Dia. And Lateral Gig, a screen printing company owned by the wife of a Toledo police sergeant, will give 100% of the proceeds of one of its collections to Officer Stalker's family. I have a link in the description of this video for all of the different ways you can help out Officer Stalker's family if you so choose. Ohio Governor Mike DeWine has ordered flags to be flown at half staff at public buildings in Lucas County and across Columbus until sunset on the day of Stalker's funeral. He said, Fran and I are deeply saddened to learn of the death of Toledo Police Officer Brandon Stalker. He's the second Toledo officer killed in the line of duty in less than a year. Our hearts go out to his family, friends, Chief George Crawl, and everyone at Toledo Police Department. In the hours following Stalker's death, a number of other state and local leaders reached out with their condolences, including Ohio Attorney General Dave Yost, who said, A man of valor and honor was killed, but valor and honor live on in his tens of thousands of partners across Ohio. Most of us live in peace and safety because people like Officer Stalker spend their working day at risk of violence. My heart breaks for the family he left behind and for his brother and sister officers. While Toledo Police did address the public with some information just hours after those shots were fired, a second press conference has been scheduled for tomorrow, although as of this recording, no official time has been announced. But rest assured, we will have it ready for you on WTOL, WTOL.com, and on our Facebook page. I'm Jensen, and now you are in the loop.